Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today, today, we are going to be doing another react. I know you guys have been really interested in my reacts recently. I love doing them because I watch these videos anyway and it's nice to watch them and share my opinion on them at the same time. So I've been archiving a couple of videos I want to react to. As far as I'm aware, I've not seen anyone react to these videos, although I haven't searched out reactions to these videos. So I've got four on here and I'm just not sure which one I want to pick. I am going to choose the pastel goth one. I watched the Lovely Laws video on this person and a couple of other controversy videos about this person. It seems like they're not actually the nicest person out there, but apparently this video paints them in an extremely good light. So what I will do, I'll have links in the cards, whichever site they are on, the videos about this person and the drama that they have been in. I think it, um, I don't want to say and also this video is not me condoning this person's actions or this person it's just me reacting to a video that was made about them on hooked in a look so let's watch it i want people to know that there are people out there who understand and who will help you you're not as crazy as you think you are for expressing yourself through art Okay, so just in the intro, a lot of creepy dolls in the background, which I don't like dolls, I'm not a doll person at all. But, so far, so interesting. I think the look is very extreme, I wouldn't call it goth. Um, I guess you could attach the word pastel to it, there's a lot of pastel clothing. Um, and as far as I'm aware, there's not a subculture around pastels, specifically called pastel. And there's like Lolita, um, that incorporates a lot of pastels, but it's not exclusively pastel based so. the way i would describe my look is an alternative twist on japanese fashion um, i like to incorporate tattoos piercings into more cutesy things i wouldn't consider myself a living doll I um, am inspired by dolls. I okay, so in what she's describing herself as, she doesn't say goth, she says alternative Japanese inspired look. This is, this is an alternative Japanese inspired look. Definitely alternative. I can see the Japanese influences in it. So she also says she doesn't want to be a living doll. And I know there's a trend a while back of um, living dolls on YouTube. Um, which does say she's inspired by the doll look, which I can also see in her look. So I think the pastel goth bit of the video was like in the last one with baby goth, made up to sell, sell clicks, to get clicks. So. Kind of add more of like a gory or more of a harsher look. So the first thing I do when getting ready is I grab my contacts, I have like a ton to choose from, <laughs> and then I kind of just pick whatever ones I want to wear. I usually do mix match. Today I kind of want to be like more like creepy. I've been doing this for over a year and a half now. And day by day it just gets crazier and crazier and I just can't stop. It's fun. <laughs> I like to get up an hour and a half before I get ready depending on the day. I do different colors, I do different things. Just all depends on what I'm feeling that day and what I'm feeling inspired by. Doing this is like very relaxing. It's kind of like I'm taking time out of my- Never side note, her natural hair, like the natural haircut she has underneath, it really strongly reminds me of seeing emo haircuts. Like I had a haircut just like this. My day for myself. I'm fully aware of the consequences of dressing this way. I accept that people don't necessarily understand and I'm not expecting everyone to understand. This is my artistic outlet. With this makeup, I set my own rules and I think that's just what's the most fun about it. Creativity can come in all different aspects. I just feel like this is an extension of my personality and who I am. I don't feel as though there's a difference between me without makeup or me with makeup.
I always knew that I wanted to like push so. So in the photos they're showing, the first one was very, it looked gothic. I'm gonna say gothic, an alternative, not goth, because the style she's donning can be attributed to many different subcultures, um, many different styles of subculture as well. The second look is very Lolita. I'm not a Lolita, clearly, but from my understanding of Lolita, this looks like Lolita fashion. fashion. And I started dabbling and I was like, oh my God, this is, this is what I love. And then I kind of just took off with that and started experimenting with my makeup as well. I decided to surround myself with also, people who <laughs> love and support me no matter what. No, I am not no. like artistically inclined no. unless it's like drawing on you know, my face. <laughs> you sure? And I can hardly do that. Jess and I met at the mall I mean, we met on the internet first and decided to meet in person there. And when she first contacted me, I was very taken aback because evidently anybody who sees Jess for the first time is going to react like, wow, just wow. Like whether or not it's negative or positive, she's so bubbly and full of life that uh, it kind of helps my cynical, introverted attitude. I remember when we sat down, <laughs> you were like, you're like, why do you do what you do? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? What is your purpose? <laughs> and I was like, I just like makeup, man. <laughs> yeah, he saw yeah. photos of me online. He knew what he was getting himself into. <laughs> Essentially, it's just makeup. She is good weather that never fades away. Hold me closer, drop the arguments. I'm a bad faith leading sadness, seeking loneliness at the door. To understand each of other's demons will blow away this never ending reverie we're in. Jess and I walk around the street, um, generally people don't say many things to us, and if there are comments, they're really positive. People will say like, oh my god. It looks like they're at some sort of convention. I'm confused as to why they would film this at a convention if it's meant to be portraying how they get looked at. I love your makeup, this is amazing. Do you do this every day? How long does it take you to do your makeup? Um, generally we'll receive questions like that, but uh, in my estimation, Jess uh, gets many more negative comments when I'm not around. And it's Why is her boyfriend talking for her? Visual as opposed to a group, it's easier to throw something at a person without the ramifications of a group backlash. My favorite part of being able to express myself through clothing and makeup and fashion is inspiring others. I go into it with the knowledge and that's completely fine. I choose to do this for myself. People will ask me like, "How do? You, where do you see yourself in 30 years? Or where do you see yourself when you're 40? I can't answer that question because I don't know what the future holds. If you asked me last year if I was gonna be who I am today, I would not know. I feel like every day I do my makeup, I'm just closer to my purpose, and I feel like I'm closer to, to being able to express myself honestly to my fullest extent. Okay, so. <laughs> in this video, uh, I can't remember her name, the person in the video has never actually said goth, which is really annoying because it's what's in the title of the video. So a lot of companies, video production companies, people would tend to do this where they put goth in the title of a video because it's a trendy topic, it's something cool right now, it's provocative. Same as I guess you could say in the 90s, like the talk shows with the goth teens, it's provocative, it's dramatic, I guess you could say. Um, this person doesn't actually say they're a goth, so I'm gonna completely discard that fact. Uh, I'm gonna go on the line of the producers and the video company saying this is a goth person rather than the person themselves saying they're goth. So, 
the person themselves, if I didn't know what I knew outside of this video, I would think they're a nice person, they're having fun, they're enjoying their life, dressing how they want. I will say it was a little bit strange that her boyfriend, her partner, was talking for her. Um, he is eloqu eloquent, I guess, in a way of speaking, but so is she. I don't think he needs to talk for her about her style and the attention that she gets. The questions weren't directed at him, they were directed at her. Which is a little bit weird. Also, the music part, also strange. Um, but from the standpoint of this is a goth person, no. This is not a goth person, this is not a goth video. This person does not identify as goth, they identify as alternative with Japanese influences, which I can totally see, that is probably the proper label for this person for this video. But I don't think you could fit I am a person with Japanese and alternative style influences in the title of the video in a way that will be so eye-catching as I am a pastel goth. Let's, let's be honest about that one. Um, so, Hooked on the Look seems to make videos that are rather provocative and they just like to shove goth in wherever they can. The music in this video that was shown and they never really spoke about the music they were into, it was mostly about the makeup and the fashion, is never highlighted as being goth, so that is not what it is. Um, I think the person's way of describing who they are, what they are, what they're doing makes complete sense. And I completely believe that that is the style they adopt. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say on that for now. Guys, let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. What do you think of companies using the word goth in titles, products, clothing, campaigns, in order to get people to buy it? What do you guys think of this person from this video standpoint? And what do you think of this person if you knew the other stuff about them? I'm not going to mention it in this video for reasons of law. Um, I don't want to mention what's in those videos because I don't want to get in trouble myself with anything. So I will link links to those videos that say stuff about that person that I think you might find interesting in the cards. But guys, a huge thank you to our patrons. Without them, videos like this are not possible. And stay safe, stay dark, and I'll see you in the next one.